Hey everyone, Zach Hampel here coming to you in the shade because it is a million degrees today. But all right, I gotta bring the energy for YouTube. And so with that, here we are at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. And by the way, if you hear some noise over there, there's a water park, there's some kids splashing around in the fountains. Now I'm hoping that today is the day that I finally get to see Ellie De La Cruz playing in his home stadium. I was here yesterday, he had a day off, it happens. And also yesterday, I snagged 13 baseballs, which was my season high. So not sure if I can catch that many again, but I'm definitely gonna get a few. So let's head inside for batting practice and we'll see what's cooking. Uh, right after I ate about 1,500 calories at Jimmy John's. Running my ass all over this place. No Easter eggs, but damn, this place is beautiful. And they're just pulling out the screens now for BP. Whew. Back down we go. kid and I just got to show you what this baseball looks like because it is such a beauty. I normally give away all the balls but I really think I got to keep this one because I love it. I love the banged up baseballs so this will always have a place in my collection. For you too, why not? Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. I don't know if I'm going to get any baseballs today, except for them. You guys are the best! The best! And look at this. I stepped in gum! Look at this. Look at this crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll catch you, I'll catch you over there after this. Joe Singley, everybody! I'll catch you over there afterwards. All right. Who didn't get one yet? Did you get one? Uh, Want one? Thank you. Yeah, sure. Well, the Reds hit like crap today in their first group of batting practice. And again, it was the generosity of the kids that got me on the board, the players' sons. So a huge thanks to them for baseballs. So I'm actually off to a pretty good start, although it does feel kind of cheap. And I'll just show you what it looks like out here. A lot of empty space as the second group gets underway. It's a little too early to call double digits. Of course, that's always the goal, but I feel like there actually is a chance that I'll get six more and reach 10, so we'll see.
So yeah, things were pretty slow for me once BP resumed, and right here, this is the reason why lots of foul balls being hit into the batting cage. The Reds were taking live BP with a pitcher throwing somewhat hard and a catcher in the cage. You'll see more of that in a bit. Right here, well, you're about to see me burning calories and hustling like crazy because the first base side of the stadium had opened. We knew that there'd be some baseballs scattered around in the seats. My friend Caleb actually found most of them, but if you look closely right here, we'll zoom in, show it to you in slow motion, you can see me grabbing one, which was cool, but I was still disappointed. Only one baseball for my troubles. Yeah, there were definitely more baseballs to be found, but anyway, that's Ellie De La Cruz up there, and when guys aren't even swinging at pitches, it makes it hard to catch baseballs in the seats. And so the pitcher wasn't exactly throwing smoke, but he was set up only about 40 feet from home plate. And just listen to the reaction from me and Caleb right here. Keep in mind that the whole point of live BP is to make it harder for the hitters and to somewhat recreate live game situations. Anyway, I had an extra ball at this point and check it out. It's his 12th birthday. I was 12 years old when I snagged my first ball and I overheard that it was that kid's birthday so I was glad to hook him up. Right here I was annoyed because BP was ending, no baseballs were chucked over the netting. So there was all kinds of time to kill, I was hanging out with some fans, and eventually I made my way back to right field for the start of Cubs BP. Now just to be clear, this was not batting practice. That was a coach hitting soft toss fungos to the infielders. So I was just wondering at this point, what in the world is happening? I mean, at least the Cubs were being generous and still tossing a few baseballs here and there to some kids, but there was lots of standing around and it wasn't looking good. So I wandered over to left field and I was not happy when I saw this. The grounds crew was removing all the stuff from the field and basically taking apart batting practice. There they are rolling the batting cage away. So, I mean, forget double digits. And at this point, I just wanted to take advantage of all the unexpected free time that I now had. love wandering around in upper decks and I gotta say the one here gives me some serious PNC Park vibes. It is so beautiful to see a major river right outside a stadium and so for right now we got about half an hour until this game starts. Ellie De La Cruz batting second playing shortstop and he'll be hitting from the right side because the Cubs got a lefty pitching. So it is three dollar beer night I don't drink beer, but it'll be interesting to see if fans are getting completely plastered. And also, shout out to my friend Caleb, who's standing right there. You want to show your face? Show your face. He was joining me in the upper deck, so what's up? He got six balls today. I got five. He's better than me. I got to catch two home runs during the game now.
has been all red so far early on in today's game. The big hits included a two-run single in the first by T.J. Friedel, and then Santiago Espinal with a two-run homer in the bottom of the second. That one barely cleared the wall down the right field line, 341 feet. And so right now, top of third, Reds are on top five to nothing. And you can see where I am right here in the very first row. So that's pretty cool. Don't usually sit this close to the action. I actually prefer to be a little farther back, but it's just so crowded. This is the spot for right now. So not a ton of space if they do hit one, but being in straightaway left field, as close as you can get to the action, I'd have to say this is a hot spot. champion hat right here. top of the sixth inning has been very action-packed. Ellie De La Cruz nearly made a spectacular play on that little blooper by Seiya Suzuki. And right after that, Cody Bellinger hit a two-run homer to right field. So the Cubs are finally on the board. Reds are still winning 5-2. to two. And I'm sure you guys have noticed the shirt that I'm wearing. But here's a look at it, the Albuquerque Isotopes. Much love to them. I did a video at their stadium in New Mexico six years ago, which I will link to in the description, so check it out. Got a lot of views, it was very cool. And other than that, it's hard to get shots of fans drinking beer when we're in the front row and everyone's sitting behind us. So not that you guys really needed that content in your life, but I just wanted to acknowledge that since I mentioned it earlier. very noisy right now in between innings, but this man named Logan, who works here, just handed me this baseball. Thank you. So it's number six on the day, and that's for you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. All right. Can you sign this hat? Sure. There it is. All right. You got it? Top of the eighth inning right now, and the Reds are holding on to a 5-3 to three lead. And if this score holds up, well, there are only eight outs remaining. And earlier today in BP, Joe Singley, the Reds' bullpen catcher, told me to meet him after the game along the right field foul line. So I think rather than waiting until the game ends and then trying to sprint over there or waiting until it's almost done, let's just go now.
Look who it is. Yeah. It's Caleb. It's me again. Wherever I am, there he is. It's one of the laws of physics in this yes. stadium, I think. When Zach's here, you got to enjoy it because you don't get to see him very often, all right? I mean, this is a wonderful human being. Oh. You know who's a really good hitter? Spencer Steer is a really good hitter. This was an RBI double that played at Will Benson. And the crowd was pretty happy at this point, and they were even more fired up when the top of the ninth inning rolled around. You had all the flashing stadium lights. There was all this hype on the Jumbotron as well because Reds closer Alexis Diaz was entering the game. And here's a fun fact for those of you who might not know. Alexis Diaz is the younger brother of Mets closer Edwin Diaz. So there's just something about ending baseball games that runs in their genetics. Now he did walk a batter, but right here, Seiya Suzuki with two outs, hits one out to steer in left field, and that was the ball game, the final out. So the Reds won it by the score of six to three. And Ellie De La Cruz, not the best game for him. He went one for five with a single and a pair of strikeouts. Santiago Espinal was the hitting stud. He went four for four with three extra base hits two doubles and a homer, so he fell just a triple short of the cycle. And so you can see me and Caleb climbing down over some seats because look who it is, Joe Singley. Show him some love on Instagram, and here's how it all played out. Thank you, sir. Yeah, of course. They've been all right? Yeah. Well, this place is Yeah, a lot of good people around here. Assist. Joe Singley is the man. I had no idea what he had in store for me. Didn't think he was going to give me anything, but then he hooked me up with a baseball. So, yeah, seven total on the day. Gave six of them away, but they all count. So the lifetime total is now 12,619. And I got to say, the seven baseballs that I got today, I mean, that's cool, but this might have been the softest, weakest seven of my life. No offense, Joe Singley, I love you! But you know, I wanna be running around and catching them, but yeah. Anyway, I'll take it. So tomorrow I'll be back, one more Reds game, and then I'm moving on from there. So you guys better subscribe so you don't miss any of the action. It's gonna be fun. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!